Hey guys, did you know that I have a Patreon where you can support me and plus get awesome rewards? Or if you're thinking to yourself, but Julian, I want even more bang for my buck while still supporting you, you can pop over to my Redbubble and check out my awesome store with new designs appearing regularly. But for now, enjoy the video you're about to watch. Julian Greystoke. Today I am wearing this this pretty shirt. It's just pretty. And my pineapple necklace. Today, y'all, we are here to talk about that one idea. That idea to end all ideas that everyone has. Even people who don't write books have that one idea. That great story that has been in their head since forever. It was probably a dream you had when you were 11 years old and you cannot shake it. And someday you are going to write that one idea. Or hell, you're even doing it right now. But let's talk about the importance of that one idea and also whether you should write it and when. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, I have that one idea story. Yes, I wrote it when I was 13. Yes, I constantly think about rewriting it and may actually finally be doing that. But uh, let's talk about all of that situation some other time. Drinking my tea with a straw, like a classy bitch. Why you gotta unfocus? In a previous writing video, I can't remember which one because I have like 17 bazillion, I mentioned how a lot of people feel like they can't start writing because they won't be able to do that one idea justice. And let's be honest, when you're new to writing, that's probably true. Pretend I'm not new to framing my shots because apparently I don't, I can't be happy with it today. That one idea is not gonna come out perfect if you write it when you're new. And yeah, 13 year old me wrote a terrible book. But I still encourage you to write it. One, because you can always fix it later, you can always go back and rewrite it later, and two, because a lot of times getting that one idea out of your head will really start you on your writing journey. If you keep waiting until you somehow magically have this writing skill that's never gonna happen unless you practice, you're never gonna get that one idea written down. So go ahead and write it. However, that one idea can still trap you. So I wouldn't say that you 100% have to start out with it. But let's look at the ways that that one idea can sometimes trip you up. That one idea seems to stall writers. I have seen plenty of writers trapped in plotting forever. If you are a plotter or if you're new to the game and you don't know but you want to try plotting, they will spend just forever trying to plot that one idea out and they will just keep tweaking and keep doing all of this stuff and never actually getting to the act of writing which unfortunately you do eventually have to get to if you ever want that one idea to be a book. I also see a lot of people stall before they start because they don't know what they're doing. As we previously talked about, I think you should just go ahead anyway, but some people get locked in with that one idea and know that they aren't skilled enough to make it perfect and so they just never start. I see a lot of people who have started writing that one idea, but then they stall because again, it's not turning out to be perfect or the way that they completely imagined it. And so then they just stop and they put it down and they think they're terrible. It's just not a good situation. And finally, some people can get all the way through that one idea, but then they are trapped in endless, endless rewrites because that one idea that you have had in your head since you were a child is so perfect in your head that nothing that you do on paper is ever going to be good enough for your precious baby. And so you are in rewrite hell for the rest of your days. So here are some of my thoughts. Even though I think you should at least try to write hashtag that one idea, doing so might not be the best option for every writer. Sometimes it is incredibly good to put that idea away, save it, and write something else knowing that you will get to that idea later. The big crux of this is you actually have to write something else, but have fun with it. Write whatever stupid crazy idea just came into your head. You're not betraying your beautiful first idea if you write something else first. You're just 
practicing. And hey, you might just fall in love completely with this crazy new idea that you have too. That one idea can be a lead weight around your neck holding you back from your author life. So definitely give it some serious consideration, especially if you are in any of those situations that I mentioned, stalled with your writing of that story. Just get out there and do something else because that one idea is officially dragging you down. There you go guys, those are my thoughts. I hope they were helpful. As I always say with these writing videos. I'm not the god of writing. I just share my experiences with you all. So feel free to share your experiences in the comments down below. Don't forget everybody that I post new videos on Mondays and Fridays and if you would like to see those videos have a better quality camera then please support me on my Patreon. I am taking all of the money from my Patreon towards buying better equipment. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo for ease of clicking, so head on down there and check that out. If you would like, I have a book. It's for sale on Amazon. Haha, -ha, there you go. Possibilities. And I will see all of you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! What's up, everybody? It is shout-out time. Time to shout-out to my very first patron, Kim. And if you want to be cool like Kim, become a patron over on Patreon.